Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy silo for those farmscapes that you might be needing for your various games. Want to see how it's done? Stay tuned and let's check it out. The key components to this build are pictured here. You're gonna need an empty soda or pop can, depending on what you wanna call it, some scissors, corrugated cardboard, a utility knife, a metal ruler, some chopsticks, and a domed piece of plastic. To get started, you're gonna to need to remove one layer from the corrugated cardboard. Check the link above for some good tips on how to do this. Then once you've placed your cardboard on top of your cutting mat, you're going to lightly score the corrugated part of the cardboard with your utility knife. You don't wanna cut all the way through. This is gonna start adding these lines of texture through it. And you wanna make sure you do this to the full length of cardboard and then fold it over so that the corrugation starts to separate into these segments. This is gonna mimic the look that these silos tend to have with the material used to build them. So once you've had this done, what you're gonna do is just make sure you've rolled it around a little bit just to loosen everything up. To get started with the soda can preparation, you're going to first trace the top of the can onto a piece of cereal cardboard. Once you have your circle created, you're then going to want to cut it out and once you have it cut out from the cardboard, you are going to want to make sure that this fits into the top of your can. Once you have that figured out, what you want to do is get a hold of some sand and fill the can up about halfway. This gives it some weight and it keeps it from tipping over. Now that you have it filled with sand, put on a generous amount of hot glue and put that circle piece of cardboard onto the top to seal your can. Now we're going to attach the cardboard to the can. And to do this, you're going to make sure that you have the width of the cardboard a little bit longer than the can itself. And you wanna make sure you're also cutting on one of these scored lines that you've already put into the cardboard. Put some hot glue onto one edge of this corrugated cardboard and place your can on top. Roll it a little bit and then you're gonna add some more hot glue to it and basically attach as you roll the can towards you. You're gonna put on a layer of hot glue, roll it towards you, put on a layer, and you're gonna have it come all the way around. Mark where you're going to need to trim off the excess length, and you can simply cut that away with a pair of scissors. You're going to do one last line of hot glue, again, make sure it's a generous amount, and just seal it close. This particular dome piece of plastic I found from a kid's toy where you gotta catch them all. You can also use other pieces of plastic that have a dome shape that you can find maybe in your fabric softener zone and things like that. Basically, you get your dome to fit over the top by putting on some hot glue and pressing it on top of the corrugated cardboard. For the pipe that you will see on silos, I basically just use a chopstick. So what you're gonna do is trim off the pointed top and then place it up against your silo, mark the length you're gonna need and snip that away with a good strong pair of nippers. Run a bead of hot glue down one portion of the corrugation and place your chopstick into that area so that it adheres. You don't have to press it down deep, but that's where it's gonna go. For the base coat, I'm using a mixture of one part pavement to two parts Mod Podge, and you wanna make sure you get it over the entire silo itself. This means the top as well as the side. Once that base coat is dry, we're gonna put on that first layer of paint. And to do this, we're gonna put territorial beige on the corrugated cardboard area and pewter gray on the domed part of the silo as well as the pipe. Now keep in mind, if you can't find a dome shape of plastic, you can always just do a larger cut of cardboard placed on the top of your silo so you can have one of those flat leveled roofs of a silo style. Taking your territorial beige, you're simply going to use a wide brush and get it around the areas where there is corrugated cardboard. You don't need to press it necessarily into every nook and cranny or get a full coverage. It's okay if a little bit of the black coloring peeks through. Then you're going to move on to using your pewter gray and again that goes onto the dome as well as onto the pipe and if there's some streaking that's okay that's going to add to the weathering effect that we're going to give the silo in the end. You may find it also helps to move down to a smaller flathead style brush to paint the pipe itself so that you're not getting the pewter gray onto the areas where you just put the territorial beige. So this is what it should look like for your first layer of paint. At this point, we're moving on to doing washes, and this is something very similar to what you saw in the barn painting video. So you're going to want Citadel's Agrax Earthshade as well as their Seraphim Sepia. 
and these are the two washes we're going to start with. Starting first with the Agrax Earthshade, you're going to take it and sort of streak it from the top of the silo down towards the base. It's not going to be a complete coverage in this case. Some areas will have more, some will have less, and you're going to do the same thing to the top of the dome. Start it at the top, pull it down in streaks towards the base of the dome. Once you've done that and it has dried a little bit, you're going to move over to the Seraphim Sepia. And in this case, you're going to do more of an 80% coverage with this wash. It's okay if there are some areas that don't get any wash on it. It's okay if there are some areas that get both of the tones of the wash on it. What's important is that you let this dry completely before we move on to doing some dry brushing. For this step, we're going to be using khaki on the corrugated area and the granite gray for the dome and the pipe of the silo. Taking the khaki, you're first going to start with a corrugated cardboard area, and you're just going to basically hit those higher points of the corrugation that we have from the corrugated cardboard. Now, after this step of it has dried, you're going to go back in, and with a very light amount of the khaki color on your brush, you're actually going to put some into those grooves of the corrugation as well. Once that's done, move over to the granite gray and just dry brush the pipe as well as the dome. This is going to give it a great weathering effect too. The best thing you can do at this point is to make sure you're using a light hand when applying the paint and just take it a little bit at a time. You can always add more. It's harder to take away if you've put on too much. The highlights are going to be done with vanilla ice cream and these are mainly focused on the corrugated cardboard area. You're going to go back over one more time and highlight the high areas of the corrugation and allow that to dry. To give the base sort of a lichen moss growth around the bottom, I decided to use Citadel's Anthonian Camo Shade. This is actually a really great deeper, earthier green wash that you're going to apply around the bottom part of your silo by pulling the color from the base and up a little bit. Not complete coverage, just around the bottom. For the vines, I found this really great product from Doris where it's basically the right scale as well as this great hint of greenery around the natural vines that are in this product. Now, again, this is a completely optional step, but this is what you want to do with it should you choose to take it. You're going to want to separate the swirled up part of this product and then basically just trim away the pieces that you want to act as vines. To attach it, take your low temp hot glue gun for your own finger's sake and you're just going to put small little dots of this glue where you need to attach the vine. I do recommend multiple points of attachment so that the vine doesn't pop off the silo. And basically you just add on to it. It does help to have sort of a center area where you want the vines to start and then have them wrap up and around your silo. And here we have our final look for our silo build. This is one of those builds that actually the longest portion is waiting for the paint to dry. It's very quick and easy to put together. And once you get things in motion, you can actually build a couple of these. Again, if you can't find a plastic dome shape, you can always just give it a flat top as seen in the sample picture between the cut sections. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at thecraftingmuse.email at gmail.com. If you've liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you are welcome to subscribe while you are here. Take care and I'll have something for you very soon soon. Have a great day, everyone. A special welcome and thanks to Noelle for joining the channel champions on Patreon. We record? We're recording. Yay! Recording! Hi. All right. Duh. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's been one of those weeks. I think I still have like that con, drain, brain, brain drain, something where I'm still fuzzy in the mind. Not, not fuzzy like a cat. I mean, he's fuzzy. The cat that you can't see, he's fuzzy. Brain's fuzzy up here. <laughs> oh God. Ba 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 ba. Don't look at me like that. Hi, me Come see me. The people want to see you. I'm working on it. We'll Come here! We... Come hither. Of course, the one time I want him to appear, he's like, no! So here he is. It's heaven way. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to be in it today. Oh, I love a parade! Ooh, it's gonna be Thanksgiving next week. I need to buy the turkey. I haven't done that yet.
Whoops. Before you go, I am going to be at PAX Unplugged, so make sure to come and find me. I'm going to have those lovely Crafting Muse dice with me, and anyone who comes up and says hi and mentions the dice will get a die of their own. And rumor has it they're actually pretty good. People were using them at Mace, and we were getting a lot of Crafting Muse logos. So I hope to see you there. Bye. I think we're good. Hopefully good. I think we're good. Hopefully. Things are happening. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.